Hello, this is a quick video to show you some tools that you can use to do the calculations for your descriptive statistics. And you can carry this over to our inferential statistics as well. Uh, these two programs can be found in my stat lab. So I'm at the home page in Canvas. I will, you can select any of these, but uh, if, if you want to go directly to where we're going, let's go to Tools for Success. When you get to Tools for Success, you see a list of things here that you can access. Now you're free to use whatever you want, uh, from Excel to Minitab, uh, even the graphing calculator. But for this particular video, I want to show you a couple of programs that are uh, nice and easy to use. Let's click on StatCrunch. And what you have here is a data set. And uh, you can go to the home page or explore. Uh, but what you want to do here is open StatCrunch. Uh, if you want to get familiarized with it, let's, uh, there's an introduction video here. But let's dive right into StatCrunch. And then here we have a spreadsheet like you would see in Excel. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a set of data here uh, for us to work with. And uh, in our particular chapter now, chapter three, or uh, the first few chapters, we're looking for just basic descriptive statistics. Uh, so you can play around with any of these buttons. Let's click on stat. And uh, there's calculators, there's summary statistics. So I think I want summary statistics of a column. I want to select column uh, var one column. And then uh, you can mess around with any of these other ones. Uh, I think all these are selected. Uh, or highlighted from the end, the mean, the variance, etc. cetera. Um, there is all this other stuff that doesn't look like it's highlighted. So if I want to add on any of those, I can uh, shift or control, control click and IQR if for some reason I want the IQR. And then uh, again, you can mess around with any of these other things. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit compute. And I have my, uh, my N, my mean, my variance, standard deviation, uh, the median, and my IQR that I clicked on here is five. So that's, um, that's it. And then you can use this to, to answer the questions you have in your homework or whatever else you need to do. All right, the other program I wanted to introduce you to is StatDisk. Now, StatDisk is a program that you would have to download onto your computers. Um, I have it downloaded already, so I won't skip through the process of downloading and registering and all that stuff. So uh, once you have it downloaded, it'll look something like this. And now I have a, a set of data that, I, that I've inputted. Uh, I can uh, put in more or change it or whatever I need. And so I have data in row one or in uh, column one. Now to to get the, the descriptive statistics for here, um, I believe you have to go to data and explore data descriptive statistics. Um, again, you can explore these other um, options, other buttons that you have, but we'll do the basic descriptive statistics. And it says, which column do you want data to explore? Uh, let's do one, evaluate. And so not only do we have our basic descriptive statistics here listed down for us, but we also have uh, some basic graphs. Uh, we have histograms, box plots, and these other things. And so you can adjust the, the histograms or, or um, add more things. But for now, this is what we have, and this is what you need. Later on, we will be looking at these other, uh, other options but, um, but I just wanted to give you a, a head start on using a couple of these programs. Okay, so take advantage of them, uh, use technology, and uh, have fun.